Hi everyone, welcome to today's GCSE Higher Revision video. There's 34 days to go into a GCSE Maths exam. Today we're going to be focusing on the topic of quadratic inequalities. So we're going to look at how to solve quadratic inequalities. So they are inequalities, so obviously they've got the inequality symbols, the bigger than, the less than, the greater than or equal to, the less than or equal to symbols, but also they're quadratics. So you're going to have x squareds, perhaps x's and numbers, and you've got to solve those quadratic inequalities. If you've got the Corp Maths Revision card, card number 67 is the card on quadratic inequalities, so that'll be a really useful one for you as well. In this video, we're going to go through the solving inequality, so let's get started. Hi, today we're going to be looking at solving quadratic inequalities. So we've looked previously at solving quadratic equations. Now we're going to look at how to solve quadratic inequalities. So here's an example. It says solve x squared plus x subtract 12 is less than zero. So if you think you know how to do these, feel free to press pause now to try this question. Okay, so if I wanted to solve this, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little sketch. I'm going to sketch y equals x squared plus x minus 12. So I'm going to draw my axes. So there's my x-axis and there's my y-axis. And I want to sketch this quadratic y equals x squared plus x minus 12. So to find where this graph crosses the x-axis, remember to find where quadratic uh, crosses the x-axis, we let it equal 0. So I'm going to do x squared plus x minus 12 equals 0. And let's factorize this, if we can, the left-hand side. So bracket, 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 bracket equals 0. And in terms of factorizing this, well, we're going to put an x in the front of both brackets. We want two numbers that multiply together to be minus 12 or negative 12 and add together to be 1, because plus x is plus 1x. So I'm thinking 4 and negative 3, because 4 times minus 3 is minus 12, and minus 3 plus 4 is 1. So we're factorized, fantastic. So that means that x equals, and if this bracket is 0, that means x is negative 4, or in this case, x would be equal to 3. So it crosses the x-axis at minus 4 and 3. And because it's x squared, it's going to have that u-shape, and it's going to cross the x-axis at minus 4 and 3. So that's the sketch of our quadratic. Now we want to find when the quadratic is less than 0. So in other words, when the graph is below the x-axis. So you want to find the values for x when the graph is below the x-axis. So obviously if x is equal to 0, it's below the x-axis, you would get a negative, which would work. If x is equal to 1, that would work, it would give us a negative. And actually any value for x in between minus 4 and 3 would work. If we had any value of x between negative 4 and 3, if you substitute in any value, between negative 4 and 3 into this quadratic, you'll get a negative, and that's below the x-axis. So that means that any value of x between negative 4 and 3 would work. So let's write that down. The x is going to be bigger than negative 4, but it's going to be less than 3. So x is in between negative 4 and 3. And that's it. We've solved our quadratic. We've found when it's below the x-axis, where it's negative, and that's it. Okay, and if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. This time we've been asked to solve x squared plus 2x minus 15 is greater than zero. So we want to solve this quadratic inequality. Now, if you feel like you're confident with these and you want to have a go, feel free to press pause and try this question now. Okay, if I wanted to solve this, the first thing I would do is I would sketch the quadratic. So I'm going to sketch y equals x squared plus 2x minus 15. So I'm going to sketch the quadratic. So we've got our x-axis and our y-axis, and we want to sketch this quadratic, so I want to find where it crosses the x-axis. So I'm going to let the quadratic equal 0, so x squared plus 2x minus 15. If we let that equal 0 and solve this, we can find where it crosses the x-axis. So let's factorize, so factorize the quadratic if we can. So I'm thinking negative 3 and plus 5. Negative 3 and 5. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. And minus 3 plus 5 is 2. So that would work. So that means that either x equals 3 or x equals minus 5. So there are the points where it crosses the x-axis. It crosses the x-axis whenever x is negative 5 and it crosses the x-axis whenever x is equal to 3. So let's sketch that. Okay, so we've now sketched y equals x squared plus 2x minus 15. Now we want to find when that quadratic is bigger than zero. In other words, whenever we, which values of x, whenever we substitute into the quadratic, we will get a positive. And then we can see that whenever the graph is above the x-axis. So anywhere the graph is above the x-axis, we can find the values for x that will give us that positive value. So for instance, if x was equal to 10, that would be a positive. And all the way down to just whenever x is above 3. Whenever x is equal to 3, that gives you a value of zero. So any value of x that is bigger than 3 will work. So let's write that down x is bigger than 3. So any value of x bigger than 3 would work for this inequality. So x is bigger than 3, that would work. Now if we have a look here values less than 3, well, as you can see, we start getting negative. So if x is equal to 2, you get a negative. If x is equal to 0, you get a negative. That's negative 15. If x is equal to negative 4, you get a negative. If x is equal to negative 5, you actually then get 0. And then if you get any value of x which is below minus 5, you actually get a positive as well. So any value of x is less than minus 5 would actually give us a positive answer as well. And that's above the x-axis. So in terms of our values, in terms of our solutions, any value of x bigger than 3 would work, or values of x that are less than minus 5. If x is less than minus 5, that would work as well. So we were asked to solve the quadratic inequality, x squared plus 2x minus 15 is greater than 0. Our possible ranges of answers would be any value of x less than minus 5, so x is less than minus 5, or x is greater than 3, any value of x bigger than 3. That's our answers, and that's it. 
Okay, so here's a question for you to try. Can you pause this video and can you solve x squared plus x minus 42 is less than zero? So try this question now. Okay, so if I wanted to solve this quadratic inequality, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch it. I'm going to sketch y equals x squared plus x minus 42. So if I want to sketch that quadratic, so if I want to sketch y equals x squared plus x minus 42, the first thing I want to do is I want to find where it crosses the x-axis. So I'm going to let it equal zero. I'm going to write zero equals x squared plus x minus 42, and I'm going to find where it crosses the x-axis. I want two numbers that multiply together to be minus 42 and add together to be one. So I'm going to go for seven and minus six because minus six times seven is minus 42 and minus six plus seven is one so in terms of our solutions x equals minus seven or x equals six there are two solutions so that's where it crosses the x-axis it crosses the x-axis at minus seven and six so minus seven and six so if we sketch the quadratic y equals x squared plus x minus 42 now in this question we've been asked to solve x squared plus x minus 42 is less than zero so in other words which values of x whenever you substitute them into that quadratic will give us a negative answer so if we look at our graph we want to find anywhere where the graph the quadratic is below the x-axis and you can see any value of x between minus seven and six would work so for instance if x is equal to five you get a negative if x is equal to minus four you get a negative and so on so let's write that down that any value of x that is bigger than minus seven and less than six so x is greater than minus seven but less than six and that's it that's our solution and if you got that well done okay let's have a look at another question okay let's have a look at another question so this time i would like you to solve x squared minus seven x plus six is greater than or equal to zero so feel free to press pause and try this now okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to sketch y equals x squared minus seven x plus six so let's sketch that quadratic so to sketch that quadratic i'm going to want to find where it crosses the x-axis so let's let y equal zero so we're going to get zero equals x squared minus seven x plus six so let's factorize this if we can if we couldn't we might need to use something like the quadratic formula or completing the square uh, so zero equals and then bracket 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 and we're going to go for x and x and two numbers that multiply together to be six and add together to be minus seven i'm thinking minus one and minus six because minus one times minus six is six and minus one plus minus six would be minus seven so that means that x is equal to one or x is equal to six okay so we now know that this quadratic crosses the x-axis at one and six so we can actually sketch our quadratic now and we've been asked to solve x squared minus 7x plus 6 is greater than or equal to 0. So in other words, which values of x, when we substitute them into this quadratic, will give us either 0 or positive answers. So in other words, in terms of our graph, we want to find where our graph is above the x-axis or on the x-axis. Okay, so if we have a look at it, I can actually see that any value between 1 and 6 wouldn't work, because if you tried any value between 1 and 6, you're going to get a negative. If you tried 3 and you done 3 squared minus 7 times 3 plus 6, you're going to get a negative. If you tried 5, you get negative and so on. But any value of x that is 1 or less than 1 would work. So that means that x is going to be less than or equal to 1. So any value of x is either 1 or less than 1 would work. Or if we look at the right-hand side of the graph, remember we want to find whenever the quadratic is bigger than or equal to 0. So either 6 would work or anything bigger than 6 would work. So x is bigger than or equal to 6. So that's our solutions. So either x is less than or equal to 1 or x is bigger than or equal to 6. And that's it. And if you got that right, well done. And that's it. So in this video, we're going through quadratic inequalities. And I really like this topic. And it's one of those topics that we tend to happen normally towards the end of the GCSE maths paper, because it's a wee bit trickier than some of the other topics. But I think that if you get to learn the techniques and you go through the video and you do some practice and do the practice questions, that there are actually questions that you can pick up the marks in. So I really hope that you can sort of become confident in this topic, because it's one of those ones which happens towards the end. And if you can pick up full marks on a question towards the end, that'll be fantastic. But keep up the hard work. Tomorrow will be 33 days going to GCC Maps exam, and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Bye.